Hello, everyone. It's me, Will. I'm controlling the ship this week. And joining us, as always, is, am I pronouncing it right? We and Chris Gibson. Hi, this is uh, We and Gibson, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm hearing an echo on the stream. Maybe if one of the callerians could turn down the radio. What? There's an echo. Oh, there's an echo? Yeah, you gotta mute the stream on your end, because otherwise there's an echo. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, it's the reason Ian streams. Hi, everyone. Oh, that's so uh, much better now. Hi, hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Um, I'm here. Ian's here. We're gonna be playing... My uh, summer hey, car. Weird, please. Uh, we can here. Name. I'm gonna transition over to this. Here's my lovely desktop, or here's a little bit of my desktop. Here's a sneak peek at Scanlines Games. Uh, this one I'm editing right now. Uh, so um, yeah, that's it. So I'll see you all next week. Uh, okay. uh, thanks for having me. Oh God, I hate you so much. Um, volume on the stream seems good, Ian. I'm sorry, it's weird. <laughs> oh, How long are you going to keep that up? Keep what up? <laughs> hey, Wien, how's the volume on the stream? Uh, let me see, I'm uh, pulling it up right now. Um, I'm currently in a Motel Super 8 in uh, uh, San Jerome, uh, Quebec. Uh, it seems, seems okay on my end. Perfect. I okay. think we're good. Okay. I'm going to turn on my desktop audio, turn it down a little bit. I'm going to double click on this My Summer Car. I'm going to hit play. Hopefully this isn't too loud. I understand. Yeah. Look at that car. What color should we be? I'm, I'm a big fan of a uh, pale daisy yellow. This one? Yeah, like kind of no more like a that one? melted can of beige paint. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hit continue. I don't know what that's gonna do. Is that gonna continue? Oh from no. Oh, Is this the last episode of uh, <laughs> of PGO? Oh, I don't. Is it? What? Oh, I think it might be. No, I want to start from the beginning. Quit to menu. Yes. Uh, new game. <laughs> oh, I forgot I did that. What a oh my god, I'm trying. This, this is the perfect opportunity for me to drop that voice. Oh, it's so good. Uh, was this the birth of... This wasn't the birth of Wii and Cripson. I think it no, was boxing. It, boxing was the birth of Wii and... Why can't I do my first game? Uh, this was... No! Oh my God. No, no, no. It was this because then we did it officially in the boxing one. Yeah, that's right. I feel like we checked it on a stream. Like, yeah. last week. Yeah, pretty sure we did. Go find that. Editor, cut that in. Um, Did, did we happen to... Uh, tweet by the way or do you want me to do that no i didn't sorry i i meant to set that up i set up everything yesterday except those tweets um nobody watched the screen right now <laughs> we're gonna get flagged uh, oh yeah no nobody watch it nobody watch it are you worried about the noise the music i'm obscuring the youtube <laughs> no, no i was worried about the fact that we're coming out of a person's vagina Oh, wow. <laughs> I was not expecting to hear the V word this early in the stream. It's usually reserved for later on. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, oh, you can see it. Wow. That was rough. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, look, there's the car. Ugh. From San Francisco. Oh, God. Uh, Twitch just emailed me. We've I... gone live. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, so just in case it does happen... Um, I really am on a three megabit connection at a Super 8 uh, in Quebec. So <laughs> if my voice starts to sound wonky to the zero people watching right now, that's why. Uh, yeah. 
Ian, do you like the um, stream font I used? Oh no, I clicked off that. We're in Finland. I really can't skip this. It's just gonna, it's just gonna be this. Okay, so this car, uh, this car, this game is you're in Finland. You're building a car. It's kind of the summer. You're uh, like a teenager, I think. You're having a blast. Um, so Ian's got the guide to build the car, and I yes. have the physical body. Okay, mm, really you know what I'm gonna oh. do? You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? What are you gonna do, boy? I'm gonna look up cheats. I don't think there are any cheats in this game. Because the um, the guide starts with a very long section on going to the store and buying 30 items. Yeah. Not a fan of that. Let's get some... Uh... Oh, we can take the boat. Okay, here we are in my room. Sweet CD. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, so if you go to the options menu and you hit... And you select the console. Where's the options menu? Is it graphics? Or do you want to just... The console in the options menu. Um, maybe go through them? Oh, oh my boy. god. Wow. Oh no. Player controls. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this guide's out of date. Sorry. Let me. Uh. Let me find. Let me find. Field of view. I'm gonna crank that up to seventy. Draw distance. Okay. Head bob. Nah. Anti-aliasing. And nobody's watching. Car controls. Hi Dead everybody. Run. Thanks for joining. Player Can controls. Can you press F one? Uh. Let me get out of this menu. F1. That just did that. Oh man, maybe he took it out. F2. F2, turn that off. F3. Ooh. Don't know what that huh, did. Okay, wait. Can you go back to the uh, options menu? Hit ESC. Uh, type in um, poor 15. How do I spell that? P O O R. Hit enter. Okay, I got more doing it. How about you play around with the house in the meantime? How did, how did my... What? <sighs> it's been removed. I guess there are no cheats anymore. How do I put my hand away? Oh, oh my god, wow, that is... Was... Can you put it back out there? That is really terrifying. <gasps> it was... Is that a balloon? There's not even a oh. thumbnail. It, um... Yes. It was mm -hmm. inputting my keystrokes while I was in the menu. <laughs> That's weird. Let's just go in the sauna real quick. That. Will, guess what I had for dinner? Uh, Chick-fil-A. Ooh, close. I had McDonald's. Ooh. Uh, so I... I wanted a quarter pound with cheese. Guess what they call that in French Canada? Uh, French Royale. No, they call it a quarter pounder with cheese. I've never. That's funny. Oh, oh no. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. You went out a little bit. Okay, I have to go to the store. Or do I have to go to the store? You have to go to the store to buy parts. Can you hear me, by the way? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, you cut out for like 30 seconds. Uh, 30 uh, seconds? Definitely, definitely on my end, though. Definitely. Not my end. Still no one in the no. chat. Good to know. Uh, so, Will, you, you've been playing um, Outer Wilds. You said that on the stream, right? Yes. Was that before? That was before the stream I said that. How are you liking it? Uh, last time I spoke to you about it, you said you hated it. So I didn't say I hated it. Thank you. Um, I said I had played it for like half an hour before I was going to bed, and I was very confused 
and I didn't know what was happening. Um, but I realized that's because I was very tired and I just started playing the game for some weird reason. Um, so now I've actually uh -huh. taken an approach to it. Um, and it is really good. It's, it's, it's so good. You'd like fly your ship around and you explore mysteries of these little planets and you figure stuff out. There's a huge mechanic in it. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but it's so good. It's so very good. Yeah. I've only played about three cycles, but it's pretty good. It's I, I was surprised by how crafted it is and how great it is that it's crafted. Yeah. I hate No Man's Sky, and this feels like they took the concept of No Man's Sky and actually made a good game from that base premise, as opposed to just taking the base premise and implementing it without any thought towards the player or towards how they actually interact with these systems or what pulls them forward, etc. Yeah, and I think they really, um, like, they really thought through everything because it deals with like, like black holes and like that portal sort of stuff. So you can really mm -hmm. mess with the system and it still works. And it's yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, uh, I, I definitely cool. need to play some more of it. Yeah, I, I've been playing way too much. I've also been playing uh, EDF uh, 2017. And as any uh, good subpix subpixelian knows, wait, which one's twenty? Which one's twenty seventeen? That's not the one we played. No, we played uh, four point one, which is the remaster twenty twenty five. Um, so twenty seventeen came out in two thousand six on the Xbox three hundred and sixty. I believe it is the first uh, named Earth Defense Force. Sorry, I'm looking for the boat. I think I really went the wrong way. I'm gonna go this way. Whoa. Well, you could uh, have taken the van, right? Yeah, but they said the boat's better. Oh, uh, anyway, okay. so I've been playing that with Karen. Uh, it's super fun. Um, th it's weird. Yeah. They don't have any classes. It's just like that base soldier. Um, mm -hmm. So we played at night, and we do like five or six levels. Only problem is it you have to manually save in the game. Um, oh, that's annoying. Like, and when you it, so it's. It's like start mission, select equipment, save, return to title screen. If you return to title screen, it doesn't even say, are you sure you want to do this? It just goes, and you have to save manually. Oh, no. Uh, God, actually, it says, are you sure you want to do this? But it doesn't say anything about saving. Yeah, like it doesn't uh, say you're going to lose progress. Yeah, so that's free on Games with Gold. So then that prompted me to order off of eBay... Uh, EDF, excuse me, EDF 2025, um, mm -hmm. so we can play that together, because the, guess how much the digital version of EDF 2025 is on the Xbox One store? $60. No, it's not that bad. $49.99. Well, oh, it's still pretty bad, though. That's For like a, Call of Duty, it that's like Call of Duty Modern Warfare price. Yeah. You know how, like, they... Almost uh, never go on sale. Yeah, actually, some of those are on sale right now. It's some of the 360 versions, but some the Xbox One. And I never, I think the last Call of Duty I played was Modern Warfare 2. So I was like, should I? I, I think if we ever did like a well, about the same, but I. I was gonna say if we ever did a charity I, stream oh. instead of like playing through all the Halo games, which have been done so many times, I think I'd play through all like the Call of Duty. Oh. But they're Man, not. But there's like 12 of them. They're not co-op. That's the problem. Yeah. I, I have a stream idea. Well, not a stream idea. I have a series idea that I don't think fits Subpixel well and is more of like a, a John Boys type thing where it's basically me playing through each game again and then making a small video about each of the games and kind of my history with the series. And the whole premise is that Call of Duty is my ex-girlfriend because I, we used to spend a lot of time with each other, but then we grew apart, and now I'm kind of revisiting in a way in like a horrible sort of reunion. Are you restarting the game? Yeah, because I messed up. Wow. Um, I'd help you, but man, my internet's real bad here. I don't even know if I can... Oh, oops. Oh, that's pretty good. 
get to watch this again. So I've been playing, um, so since last stream, last Tuesday, I've been to Canada twice on two separate trips. So I basically don't have a lot of time to play. So in order of most played to least played, um, I've been playing a lot of uh, Pixel Puzzle, the Konami game. Oh, what percent uh, you at? Um, uh, let me, I'm pulling it up right now. I am currently at 67.8%. Oh, I'm at like 80 yeah. and if you, now, I think. But if you remember when we were in Iceland, I was at 40%. So I've played a lot. It's perfect for the plane because I I play a podcast on my phone and I listen to it and I play the, the pixel puzzle and just the time goes by. It's great. Um... Next most played will probably be Minecraft. Um, I stumbled across a server that started recently. Um, and the whole premise of the server is that they have an accurate map of North America. Like, not to scale, but still pretty big. Actually, it's North and South America. And the year is 1807, so they added a bunch of mods to add in, like, spring field rifles and like winchester repeating rifles and things like that mm -hmm. and then all the people in the server have to join a nation and then join a town so i'm a member of the usa nation the town of houston and there's like three or four of us in houston but there's like 60 in the u.s and we all are just like building our own towns and using this like pvp mod to like claim territory and then fight over it against other nations so, so that just started a week ago and i've been playing that which is pretty fun um, and I also tweeted this morning, I think about it, I got ray tracing installed on it and very, very fancy. It looks phenomenal. It's ridiculous how good it looks. Yeah, I saw you've been playing Minecraft. I was like, why is he even playing Minecraft? Um, but that's yeah. the extent of me wondering why you play Minecraft. Where's the van? Um, isn't it in your driveway? No, Shouldn't it's like be... the next door neighbors. I think it's this guy. It's just... Oh, you like go down the road and then you find it. Yeah. Um, so then the the last thing I've been playing, I played about 30 minutes of this. No, no, actually after that, I played about an hour or more of Final Fantasy VII. Still very good. Nice. Uh, I'm just, I just, I'm not in the mood for playing Switch games right now. In terms of physically taking out the switch and playing it, even though I'm traveling it and bringing with bringing it with me, yeah, it's like it's like I already have my phone out, so let me just play Pixel Puzzle instead of digging into my backpack and pulling the switch. Yeah, out. that's that's my that's been my thing with it. Yeah, and it's nothing against the switch; it's just literally pure laziness. Um, and then the fourth thing I've been playing, played about a half hour of it last night, was the Forza Horizon 4 Lego Speed Champions DLC. Oh, is that out? Have you... Yeah, it came out, I think it was oh. Friday or Thursday of last week. So, I've been not, I've been hiding the fact from you, but I've been playing a ton of Forza Horizon 4, and mm -hmm. I was like, man, I really want to get the Lego DLC, and I am so happy that it's out. Yeah, so it's, it's weird because I, I think there's only three Lego cars in it which is really disappointing. I want to be proven wrong, but they've only shown three. As far as I can tell in the game, there's only three. They're kind of locked behind progress, so I only have one right now. But it's really disappointing that there's only three three LEGO cars in the game. Yeah, but the funny. LEGO world has... Uh, it's kind of like they took 70% of the stuff in the world and they turned it into LEGO. So all the people in the world are LEGO. All the buildings are LEGO. Like, like if, if you go through a field of wildflowers, they're little LEGO flowers. And it makes like the little Lego noise when they're going all over the place. But it doesn't feel like they, they went far enough because the ground is still terrain. You know, it's not Lego oh. bricks or yeah. Lego flats. Um, but uh, it's the thing that's really interesting is they have a brick unlock system. So you probably saw it in the trailer where they have like your house is now something that you're building. I'm doing air quotes that are not coming through in the stream now oh, that I, I think about it. it. But basically, oh, you see the the van? No, I see the air quotes. Where's the van? I don't know. Man, the stream. Let, me, let me look it up real quick. Every time we try to play this game, it's like so concrete in my head. 
of what we can do, and then it never works out. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, so the first thing I did is <laughs> when I started playing, I think I started playing when we got back from uh, Iceland, and uh, I mm -hmm. bought the Land Rover Defender, and I, cr I spent all my money to give it the highest stats. So yeah. literally, like, it's it goes to, like, when I start it, it just goes straight to, like, whatever gear and just shoots off the line. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. I think I have, like, the Forza edition of the Land Rover Defender, which gives me, like, extra points for wreckage or whatever. And it's, like, it's a lot of fun. But, but so, yeah, so the brick system, so you have, you have a house in the Lego world. Um, and you're building on top of that but really you're just unlocking things that go on that plate based on how many bricks you've earned and you earn bricks by completing challenges by the way are you still there i am still here okay sorry i just sometimes i can't tell if you're there or not um, because my does internet's it say, so bad uh, before i buy all that stuff can i just start building some stuff what's something i can do i don't i don't maybe do you, do you have the engine block uh, e, e, where is it in the car? Is it? No, it's there. No, it's it's gonna look like a big brick. Man, you don't even have an engine block. No, there's totally an engine block. Am well, I'm just... wondering if you have to oh, buy is that it. it down there. Uh, at the no, bottom. It's a radiator. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay, so let's take that out. You're going to want to put it on the engine stand. You have an engine stand? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, that, that that should work. I mean, I'm, I'm going by video game logic that it should work. Maybe not. Does it say how to attach? <laughs> like how you... Like you're just throwing this like 100 pound engine block. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, the side you're looking at right now has the crankshaft. So. I... Actually, I guess. I basically, you're gonna. Place. Yeah. Uh, so basically, you're going to have to. Hand mode, car tool mode. Use objects F. Yeah, I tried F. Uh, hand move. What oh. about middle mouse button? Oh, true. That could be it. I think it said something like fasten. No good. No. Okay, let's just start building it here. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, yeah, so the, the brick system in Lego is... Oh, wait, it's literally this big, huge... <laughs> what do I do? It looks like a grid... Wait, 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 wait. It looks like a grid, but it has each... It's like, hey, you earn 10 bricks for getting three stars on this specific speed trap. Mm -hmm. And then every time you get enough bricks, it uh, unlocks a building. So, like, I think I needed to get 200 bricks to unlock my first little little tiny house on my home pad, my Lego house. And okay. then it's like, well, you need to get 400 bricks to get, your, to get the Ferrari, the Lego Ferrari. And you get them based on the challenges but it's actually like a really good way i felt like forza horizon 4 just kind of throws a map full of stuff at you mm -hmm. or is this kind of it doesn't guide you in a way but it says like hey if you do this thing you're gonna get 40 bricks or you could do this thing or you could do this thing so it like guides you in a way towards certain things on the map not in a linear way but it at least highlights them um and i thought that was that was a fresh take that i would not expect in a dlc it's almost like a comp I don't want to say completely different mechanic, but it's like a spin on it that I would not expect from a DLC that I, that I would expect to be basically basically cosmetic. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds, how much is the uh, DLC? I think if you're a, a Game Pass or Gold, it's on sale for it's either 17 or 18 instead of the 20. I'm, I might buy that. I I definitely bought it. I had to experience it. Yeah, I, I really want okay. to play it. Okay, what's next? Why are the lights... Oh, is it because of the... So you, you're you going to put the crankshaft in the bottom, okay, which is the... that. This? 
No, that's the oil pan. Uh, on the left, bottom left shelf. Bottom the crank left. shaft is literally a shaft. This? Gearbox? Bottom left. Bo left, left, left. Wow. Bottom left shelf. Bottom. Oh, this shelf. Oh, I thought you meant the floor. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Crank in the shaft. back. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. So that's going to go in the... Can I... Got Sorry, it. can you... In... I got a... Is that... Does it look like it goes there? Yeah, it went in. They, they okay, slot good. in. Sorry, it's just my qual my stream quality so low. I couldn't tell if that was the top or bottom of the engine. Yeah, okay, so now you are going to have to find the pistons, um, and the uh, I guess they're crankshaft bearings or raceways. Um, Is these things piston? No, piston one. I, yeah, those are your pistons. So you're going to have to. Oh no! Okay, okay, yeah. Can you rotate it and the and the crankshaft doesn't fall out? Okay, perfect. So yeah. So now you put them in. Oh, not like I think, that. You, I think you gotta rotate it. Yeah. So you're gonna drop them down, and then rotate the engine again and attach oh. the other half of the ring. Okay. So can you find um like the crankshaft bearing or the crankshaft seal? I think that's the next step. So basically, the ends of the crankshaft, there is going to be a piece that goes over the end. Like a cap, Drive almost. Gear, clutch cover plate, clutch disc, cam What am I doing? Gear? I'm like trying to do this like it's a real car, and I really pulley? should just be going back here. Um, Timing cover. Let me, I'm... I'm I'm just going through the guide real quick. Perfect. Give it to me straight, Ian. My house smells oh. like bacon. I don't know why. This is like... There's a lot going on in here, man. Here we go. Okay. All right. Block. Take the block and put it on the table. Crankshaft. Main bearings. All right. You got to find the main bearings. Not the piston. So, so if you, yeah. So if you look at the crankshaft, you see the 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 two ends of the crankshaft. Yeah. There are items that that clamp over the ends okay, and attach to the block. Did I see a main bearing? Somewhere? And they're called main bearings. What do they look like? Uh, they look probably like a C. C. Like a C with tabs on it. Oh, I think I found them. The main bearing, got it. No, oh, those are probably. Oh, those are main bearings. Oh. oh wait. Yeah. Oh. So now those. Got it. Do you need to screw those down, or are they just attach? I think I need to screw those down. Uh, uh, it goes at the other end. There's. Uh, uh, there's three of them. Oh, there's three. Oh, yeah, I guess there is one in the middle. Okay, so which size spanner do I need? Oof. Um, how do I use it? Oh, man, I don't know. What about that thing on the left, the T-bar spinner? Yeah, try picking that up. Oh, no, that's spark plug wrench. Um, I'm not sure what size kind of sucks that it tells you how do you if we just oh uh, not. Oh. oh crap how do I put this what happened I don't know I, just... oh. I wish it would tell you like too big too small you know what I mean yeah oh okay I think it no, it, it told me that was the right one. When I had it green. How do you spin it? It's not. I'm gonna have to do these ones first. Uh, yeah. Oh, I turned the flashlight on. What? 
Do you know if you're spinning it? Oh. Like, is it not landing on you, or are you just not hitting I'm it? I'm doing right? it. You have to scroll the wheel. Oh, that's pretty good. When right. I think about yeah. how do you control putting a bolt in, scroll real So good. I was doing some research at work on this game. I was like, because uh -huh. I've done some before, but I was like, oh, you just build the car. And I came across a forum where people are like, hey, so my car's doing this, this, and this. And, like, people are responding like, okay, first this sounds like a engine problem, and then this sounds like a belt problem. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. no. Oh, no. I think so, what what puts me off about this game is that it's realistic to the extent that you are having to go buy parts and you're making mistakes, and it's this weird fiddly system yeah. where if it was literally just, like, Mechanic Simulator 2019 – and it had this level of complexity and detail, but it was in a refined, contained environment where you didn't have to go out to the parts store, etc. then I would enjoy it. Do you know how to put something back? Oh, nope. I know how to lean. Ooh. Oh, like lean uh, into the engine? Oh, yeah, that's that's a good. Like, like leaning into the okay, engine. Okay, so what's bay. next? Okay, so now you are going to have to, assuming those are in, you're gonna flip the engine, and you're gonna and put then, you're gonna put the pistons in, and then you're gonna have to find. Um, they're similar where they have a bearing as well on the back cap. So that's how you do it in the real life. So let me see what the guide says. No, I'm doing it already. Pistons, it. head gasket, then cylinder head. There's just no. So pistons go in. I don't. It doesn't say to screw anything. It it does. It's seven millimeter, times two e. Okay. So if you flip it, are the pistons gonna fall out? I mean, probably. Doesn't seem like it. Seven millimeter, you said. Yeah. Can you actually read the? the millimeter on there? I'm assuming 7 means, yeah. So, this is spanner 7, so it means 7. Yeah, and that is screwing it down so that it looks it's like it's yeah. attached. I can't tell. Yeah, they're Because normally that's down. two. Yeah, because normally that's two pieces. Like, you know how there's the circle to go around the crankshaft? Mm. So it's just, it's, it's two pieces. One is half the circle and the other is the piston plus the other half of the circle. So you would have to, like, put them in carefully, flip the engine, and then attach it. Yeah, this has both parts, and then you're just screwing it in. So I have had to... I don't think I've gotten this far in an engine. The most engine teardown I've done was taking the head off and the camshaft. And I basically just have an engine on an engine stand in my garage. I've that always, is just the block. I've always wanted to build an engine, like a small one. I don't know yeah. why, like from fresh parts, but okay. So what's next? Pistons are in. Pistons are in. So now I think you're gonna flip it over, do head gas. As you know, my name was Gasket. Probably, probably camshaft or cylinder. Head. So you said head gasket. Yeah. There's yes. That. That's the cylinder head. So it should be a, should be a gasket shaped like the top of the block. Oh, that's this thing. Or no, oh, no, no, yeah, 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 there you go. Okay, do I have to screw that on? Uh, no, it gets compressed. Cool. It's What's literally that? a gasket between uh, cylinder head. Cylinder head. It's the bottom right there. Got it. Yeah. Is it a lightning out spine? And what size are these? Uh, these are seven millimeter as well. Oh, same one. Dope. This is actually kind of relaxing. Yeah. Oh man, this video is like five seconds behind on my side. Even through Discord? Yeah, yeah, oh, my internet's annoying. bad. Oh, I just I hope it's yeah. good enough that I can play Minecraft. <laughs> um. Yeah. So yeah, I've always wanted to build an engine. I'm actually thinking I, I've done it once is build one of those wooden plane kits where you like build the frame of the plane and 
put the uh -huh. paper on it. I'm just thinking of doing another one of those. Um, I haven't done any model making in a while. I usually build those. I've talked to you about it. I don't know if I've talked on stream about those little paper houses I build, but maybe I'll build Let me tell you about uh, Gundam. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty cheap. Well, I think the first model I got was 12 bucks. Oh, sorry. Karen's showing me she made chicken bacon ranch chicken with salad for, uh, I knew I'd smell bacon oh. for, uh, for Passover. No, for, uh, <laughs> um, her lunches this week. That's very good, dear. Okay. God, okay. Such a so it says what? the next step is the, uh, rocker? It says the next step is the motor hoist. So place the motor hoist on, like the screenshot. I don't even see the screenshot. The so do you see hoist? something that would? It's it's what allows you to attach it to the lift. Uh, so look for something that like is sticking off the the head, the cylinder head, and acts like something that it would grab. You know what I mean? So kind of like it's like a mounting bracket. Motor hoist. 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 That's the camshaft. I'm learning so much. I would just go through all these parts one by one. Headers. Wiring. I just say yeah. wiring mess. Hubcaps. <laughs> flywheel. Oil filter. I actually know what an oil filter is. Because I bought one for my Tuscan Raider costume <laughs> I'm building years ago. What? Did you just say, I know what an oil filter is? Like it's some mysterious name like carburetor? No, 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 no. I knew from <laughs> from visual what an oil filter looks like. Oh, Actually, oh, okay. I think it's like an 18-wheeler okay. or a truck oil filter I have. Um, so oil filter, the crazy thing about an oil filter is, um, Where the heck so is if you try to buy a suppressor in the United States, it requires a $500 tax stamp and like a six month waiting period. But if you, you can get into a legal gray area by buying an adapter that then lets you screw an oil filter onto the barrel of your gun. And then you shoot through the end of the oil filter. And it acts somewhat as a suppressor. Wow. Yeah. Um, quick question. So what was the thing called? Really again? It's the um, motor hoist. Let me see if I can just look that up real quick. My summer car to like tell you what it what shape it is. Not this thing is it? No, it's a subframe. Uh, That's uh oh. Okay, so it says that. Can you try putting? So the motor hoist is the is the engine. I'm sorry, I misunderstood the instructions. It's the actual crane. So I don't know how to attach it. There's no like prompt. So try. Oh, maybe it has to be a certain way. Yeah, but but the, no, but you have it. You had it the right way. It's cylinder head up, because this will drop it into the in, into the engine bay. True. Yeah. So that's the right way. So can you? What if you try hovering over the the ends of the 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 actual attachment points? You know what I mean with your cursor. Yeah, I'm doing. Oh, uh, with it or without it? No, no. Like you're you're putting the engine in the your cursor's in the middle of the of the hoist. Oh, I see what you're. Saying. What if you try hovering over the attachment points? Yes, yeah, see if it gives you anything. Okay, wait. I'll no, look it up. No. Okay. What if you need to move the motor hoist to the engine and not the other way around? Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this is... So I basically had to do all of this in order to to get my uh, my convertible working. I had to replace the engine. And I had to buy an engine hoist and all that. 
Okay, I'm, I'm going to look up real quick how to use it. Okay. It can be lowered by pressing right mouse button and raised by pressing left mouse button. A clicking sound can be heard when the engine is at a suitable position to be bolted in. I think that means... You know what, let's skip this part. Let's just keep building the engine. Okay. Oh, oh, we forgot the headers. Oh, maybe that would would have done it then? What are yeah. the headers? Uh, you already found them. They did? They're to the right. Oh, the exhaust oh. headers. Exhaust headers. To the right. These? The rocker shaft? No, no, all the way to the right. Oh, all the way to the right. Oh, I see. Yeah. Where does it go? That that's gonna go. Um, oh, found it. Yeah, other side. Those are eight millimeter. Thank. Oh, come on. Wait, can I not pick up the engine block anymore? Oh, there we go. You said eight millimeter. Yeah. There should be five of them, I believe. I wonder. If so I these are the exhaust headers. They basically attach to the exhaust ports and pull the exhaust away. Uh, I wonder if there's a so version this, this of this would game attach where... to the exhaust pipes. You Sorry, can... go ahead. No, I wonder if there's a version of this game where you can just do this and not have to worry about like my thirst and hunger. Yeah. See, that's what I meant. I would totally play that game. I bet someone's made a mod. So I don't know if you have a turbo or not, but if you do, it would go right onto these headers. It almost looks like you do. I don't know. Okay, that went on. Okay, so now, so now you can attach. Now you can try to attach the engine to the um, hoist. Because on the headers, I think, you see how there's like a little thing? sticking up now oh uh, yeah although you probably do have to bring the hoist over to it see i think you're i, I don't want to say you're getting i think i don't want to say cheating but basically you picking up the block is confusing because in reality that block would not be movable by hand so Definitely. basically it would ha have to be on an engine stand So that's why the hoist is kind of weird in this game, because you can move the engine by hand. Nothing. I really I can't believe it doesn't tell you how to do it. Okay. So it says you can lower it with right mouse button, raise it with left mouse button, and the clicking sound can be heard when the engine is at a suitable position to be bolted in. I think it means a suitable position to be bolted into the car. Oh, you know, maybe you're right. Okay, I found another page. Lower the hoist as far as it will go. Place the engine block near the screws. Tighten the hoist screws. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? Yeah. Actually, I could probably do what I was doing. See, car stuff really isn't that hard. It's just a lot of, like, it's a lot of tricks. Like, you have a bolt that's stuck. How do you get it loose? You have a bolt in a weird location. How do you get to it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Other than that, I don't want to call it Legos, but it's not creative. It's things go together in a specific way. It's not that difficult. How do I do this now? I lowered it all the way. Uh, okay, so this person says, align the hoist attachment with the attachment on the engine until you see two bolts appear. It usually makes a click sound once you have it in the right spot. Um...
Again, I think you're talking about in the actual car. No, no, this is them talking about how to attach the engine to the engine hoist. So you, you can't move the engine. So don't move the engine. You've got to move the hoist to the engine. You have to get them so they're lined up without you holding anything. And then and then you can screw it in. Okay, this says build it to the point you have headers on the block. We have that. Then lower the hoist right down. Carry engine, making sure the air filter is at the back. Place the engine down very roughly so it's near both hoist bolts. When it when you put it down, you will hear a tool sound. Tighten bolts and lift up. So maybe try rotating the engine. Yeah. I, yeah, I think you got to rotate the engine. Which way? I well, look, look. I think yeah, you have to rotate the engine. But, like spin it. I think you have it the wrong like, way. Oh, like this way? Yeah, like you have it right side up. You just have it. Yeah. Okay. And is the is the hoist all the way down? Yeah. See, because that makes more sense. Because now the Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. So, yeah, so when you get that noise, drop it. And yeah, then you should then be able that... to attach the bolts. Oh, no, this doesn't Are you sure look... the hoist is all the way down? Yeah. What about is there are there any other uh mechanisms on the hoist to drop it? Just this hoist handle. Yeah, because you're getting there. So I just need to now that we have the down. orientation right. Well, there's oh. there's supposed to be bolts that appear. No, the bolts appear. Yeah. Like oh. I just heard them, but this yeah. doesn't get low enough. See them? Yeah. This doesn't get yeah. low enough, so I'm gonna put it on okay. top of. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think the issue was we had the engine. Well, <laughs> we had the engine set up wrong. Do you want to put it on the table? Yeah, it's probably a oh, man pack square one. Because it's 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 weird. The two arms and the hoist are of different lengths because there's a tab and then there's the head itself. Okay, so bring this over. That's annoying. So I gotta crank because in real life, up. yeah, in real life it's actually pretty cool because that that bar mechanism is actually like a screw. So what? it lets you do is it lets you attach it and then you can adjust that t-bar mechanism back and forth so that it levels it it's called like a lift leveler it's pretty it's a pretty cool little thing where you don't have to you don't have to worry about it being perfectly balanced when you attach it because you can rebalance it oh man and this is good this is making me want to do more work on my car which i need to do i have a whole new suspension kit that I need to install. Oh, that sounds see. That sounds like a lot of fun to me. It's fun. I just haven't done it in a while. Oof, I heard it. I heard it too. Oh, too far back. Wow. Well, what if you just move the engine? Yeah. I think, I think, I, like, it's... Keep... God, this is annoying. Yeah. Everything else snapped in. Why? Yeah. Oh. oh. God, this is the worst. Because the other thing is that that T-bar is not a rigid structure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like in real life, you would just drop it real low so you have so much slack that you can attach it without having to line it up. Oh my gosh. I was just there. How? Oh my god. The 
Champions the worst. I know. This this is why people aren't that crazy about this game. This is why it's a niche game and not a mainstream game. <laughs> Is that it? it? Uh, yeah. What's the size? Um, okay, ten? okay, all right. It's uh, 10. 10 millimeter. Is that really where it attaches? Yeah. Well, I mean, it varies by engine. Hey, there you go. Okay, so we've got nine minutes. You want to see how far we can get? Yeah, let's go. Nine minutes. All right, carburetor. So the carburetor is going to look like a box with four holes on the top. Oh, well, I'm assuming four holes. Carburetor. That's a rock cover. Um, gearbox. I always go to the gearbox thinking... Carburetor. Yep. Where's it go? Oh, okay. found it. Goes on top. What size? Uh, that is going to be eight millimeter. Eight. So the carburetor on non-fuel injected engines is where the fuel and air are mixed into the proper fuel air mixture. Did you say how many screws? Yeah, I think it's just two, four. Maybe two below. Oh yeah. Got him. Um. So Do basically, like that system of looking through and seeing it. Yeah. So on a modern car, this would use fuel injectors to directly spray the correct fuel air mixture into the cylinder, whereas nice. this carburetor is a is a mixer. Instead. Okay. What What's next? Rocker shaft, uh, which is basically a camshaft. It's eight millimeter. It's gonna look kind of like yeah. It's uh, to the what's right. This? It looks like the crankshaft. Yeah. So that, that's going to go on top. What size? Uh, eight millimeter times five. So the rocker shaft essentially controls um, when the intake and exhaust ports on a cylinder are open. So, so for example... make like the clacking noise, right? Yeah. Well, if they're in a bad state, yeah. Because basically, like, during the intake phase, fuel and air are being added to the cylinder, and then it fires, then it's closed, it fires on the exhaust phase, the burnt gas or burnt fumes are being taken out. So the rocker is basically like open, close, open, close, open, close. Okay, next up next? is the rocker cover. Got it. Size? Seven millimeter. So this is basically, this would be like the top of the engine. You see, it just, it just covers that um, and provides just a little bit of oil pressure to that chamber as well as preventing uh, oil spray. Because when the rockers are going and they're covered in oil, it would spray everywhere. Gotcha. Is oil on engines basically for lubrication? Yes, 100%. Um, most of the cooling is done by cool one gotcha what's uh, next um i i mean the the camshaft camshaft it's over here camshaft yeah where's it oh got it yeah it goes through there do i have to this do anything a, uh five millimeter times two five millimeter times two. this is a weird engine now that i'm looking at it I gotta find these five millimeters. So the camshaft oh, also there. helps control the intake and exhaust phases. Okay. Um, and usually that, that is what is timed. Okay. Camshaft mm -hmm. gear should be a big honking gear. Crankshaft, camshaft gear. That go yes. Here, so I that's think? going to go on the. Got it. 
You got it? Yeah, that's what I thought it went. So that's a, a single 10 millimeter in the center. So that is what it's attached to the timing chain. So basically Ooh. the timing chain makes sure that as the crankshaft is turning, the um, uh, that's not a camshaft oh, is wait, also is turning. Okay, that is in. Camshaft gear timing chain. Camshaft. So it's literally going to be a chain. Timing chain? Yes. And that timing chain is going to go around the timing gear. And. I don't, I'm assuming I don't yep. screw that in? No, nope. Um, the timing cover, which goes over the timing chain. So I just look for like a protective cover. Got it. Yeah. Oh, that's, um, that's a, lot. a six millimeter times six. So I've done timing job. The only timing belt replacement I've done was on the Miata, but I think I had to do it two or three times. Yeah, I did it once. And in the process, I realized my crankshaft was broken. So I tried to JB weld it, and I put it all back together and tried to run it. The engine didn't ran slightly better, but it also had an oil leak. So then I just took the whole engine out and put a new junkyard engine in. That works. And when I did the, yeah, and when I did the new junkyard engine, the engine had basically been sitting for several years. So I went ahead and did a timing change, like this, Good basically drink. with the engine out of the car. Throw my bottle down here. Okay, water pump. Water pump is going to go probably uh, center of the front of the engine. Water pump. Oh, water pump pulley. Water pump. Yeah. So basically, that just that hooks up to your accessory belt and spins the pump. So it's basically a mechanical pump instead of an electrical oh, pump. It's okay. the front of front of. Got yeah. It. And what's that one? That is a seven millimeter times five. Oh, I got that. Also replaced my water pump because it's one of those things where it's the opposite on the Miata in here, where in order to get to the water pump, you have to take the time mean belt off. Oh, it's not. So I basically, uh, it was one of those things where while I had everything apart, I might as well pay 40 bucks and put a new water pump in. True. Not too expensive. If your water pump, no, no, Miata parts are cheap. If your water pump goes, you basically have lost cooling on your engine. That's yeah. not good. Okay. okay. I think well, this is where we're going to we cool off one. here. Okay. It's 10.58. Stream's almost over. I got to go cook some veggies while we unwind here. I don't mm -hmm. know how to eat in this game. Oh, who knows? Oh. Maybe we should play. I feel like there is a mechanic simulator game. I mean, I'd be okay with just continuing to play this. I'm going to sleep. But oh, I don't yeah. think sleeping saves. Maybe. I think you're Yeah, maybe if we got some save. cheats so that you had all the parts you need. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, whoops. What's going on? I was sleeping, but I don't know how to get up from sleeping. <laughs> so that's good. That's pretty funny. I'm assuming I'm just continuing to sleep. Anyways, um, Ian, thanks for joining me. Us, I thanks should for say. having By me. By us, I mean just me. Uh, and hey, uh, uh, thanks for hosting. I know, uh, kind of a last-minute call. Business trips always come up at uh, weird, opportune moments. But thanks for hosting. Yeah, no problem. Oh, it's just very dark. Uh, this is weird. Oh. I'm going to go back to... What is happening? Um, where like can people find you? Night. You can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. Um, lately, I've been tweeting it mostly about Gundam in combination with weird things I find in Canada, like how last week, uh, shortly after I checked into my hotel, the fire alarm went off. So we all had to go stand outside for a bit. And that's just fun. Yeah, just fun. I'll throw this beer bottle. Um, and you can find me 
on Twitter at Hunt270. You can find all of our content at subpixelfilms.com. Um, and uh, that just brings you straight to the YouTube channel. Go check out um, Scanlines. It's a good show. And if you want to know more about Lego Racing, go check out Jake's Lego Racing video. He predicts yeah. the Forza thing. He absolutely predicts it. Is and I'm right? hoping, just to throw it in there, I'm hoping the clamor and excitement around this Lego DLC is going to finally do what Jake has wanted for years and years and years. Bring Lego racers back. Bring Lego racers back. We all yes. want it. We Absolutely. It. I found the bedroom. I'm trying to find the bathroom so I can save. Anyways, I'll save off off uh, off stream. Let me just switch this transition here. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining. Have a wonderful rest of the night, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.